So since the last video, I've been a little busy, I have cut out these or glued up and cut the angle on these four legs. So that's a 16 degree angle. And then I'm currently cutting out the bridle joint that will go on the top of each one. So this is the, my second one. My first one is over here. And that's inch and a half across and a nice large amount of surface area there. So all I'm using for this, I used a uh, this rip saw right there to cut down either side of this from the top. And then I drilled it out using a brace and bit and I used a chisel and a mallet to get down everything to where it's flush. And um, I will finish this one up and then I will show you one start to finish. This is the last leg that I have to do, so I'll show you this. So, um, again, I'm going from here to here. I already have these lines marked out on here, though you can't see them. So I'm going to go through the process and uh, all I need is a saw, chisel, mallet, and a brace and bit. So this is a rip saw by the way. So now that this hole is cut out, um, using the chisel here will go much faster than otherwise. In fact, I'm going to come down either side here to knock out this big beefy part in the middle.
So here, we skipped a few steps on the video, but here are the frames for the legs. We have the top stretchers, and we have the middle stretchers. I haven't done the bottom stretchers, I'm going to wait on that. This right here is a piece that's going to go in between them. Um, one of the long stretchers. Another long stretcher is over here. I'm in the midst of cutting the tenon that's going to be going through the frames of the legs. And you will see a bit of that process shortly. So this is uh, one of the long stretchers. And I have marked out here the sections I want to get rid of. So I want to leave this, this middle piece in here. I want to get rid of these cheeks. So, I, so it would be the full thickness to here and then it would taper down or there would be a shoulder and then it would be thinner. I'm going to do the majority of that with a rip saw. Uh, cutting along and then coming in with a crosscut saw there. Although I will get the cut started with this crosscut saw, it's a back saw, just so I have a little bit more control. So now that these slots are cut, it's time to take these cheeks off with a cut right here. Um, you can see how these, these pieces um, aren't quite glued that well on the ends. So I'm going to have to re-glue them in a bit. But first let's cut off the cheeks. You can see on the inside um, that my way of staying on both lines had some drawbacks. I'll need to clean that up with a plane or a spoke shave. So this line here is made with a pencil, but it's also made with it was made with a knife. So. What I'm going to do is use the chisel to make a knife wall. Just, you know, that little valley for the, the, knife, the saw to, to glide in at first. Just a little shallow groove made there with the chisel. That side looks a little better than the other side. All right, well, I'm going to do this to the, to the other side, and um, I'll show you 
the next step after I go ahead and do that. So I finished both sides of this stretcher. So you can see we have the tenon cut with these shoulders. And we have the same thing on this side. So, okay, so I'm set up to drill out one of these slots. So this is, is comes in here and then it goes through the leg at an angle and will come out at the bottom here. I'm going to drill halfway from this side and halfway from the other side to make sure it lines up. Here's a cutoff from uh, one of the cheeks that I just cut off of the stretchers and that's to just as a going to flip it over and come from the other side. So it's the same angle. Now, I'm coming down from the top, as opposed to, and the stuff I've drilled now is essentially coming up from the bottom, and I will meet it halfway. Okay, now that I'm through on both sides, before I unfasten it, I might as well start chiseling out all of this extra stuff. I'll just start on the edge here.
All right, so we finally got this leg on. That goes on all the way up to the shoulder. And then over here, we have a second leg on. 